Good morning. I'm here to continue my series of single string study uh, tutorials. This is number six. I'm privileged to be playing this magnificent 1939 Hauser, compliments of vintage classical guitars and Aaron Green. Um, this series we've been talking a lot about legato in the left hand, smooth shifting. We've been talking about rest stroke in the thumb and the fingers. Uh, and this with this simple rule that the melody is always played rest stroke. The accompaniment is always played free stroke. This is for balance purposes, for timbral purposes, which aids in the balance. So the melody is a little richer, a little darker, a little smoother, has more vibrato, things like that. Um, the accompaniment is a little thinner, lighter, more distant sounding, and that's what we want. We want the melody to stand out. So in this piece, it's the sixth string, and we have um, uh, two uses of the thumb in this one, which is it has to play accompaniment and it has to play melody. And it has to go back and forth. Um, when we get to thumb songs later, which is the next section of my book, Sketches One, we will explore that concept more, where you really have to alternate positions and, and getting different timbres with the thumb uh, back and forth on a regular basis. So here, this piece starts out with a simple uh, little riff. So I don't want it to be heavy, buzzing and melodic. I don't need that. I just need light. And there's a little accompaniment, which is three fingers this time. Make sure that your three fingers are touching, not separated like this, or otherwise they don't they don't quite sound together. Even if they're together, they're I don't think they're as focused. So, so it's an alternate offbeat rhythm there. So there's the whole piece. Notice when I get to the melody that starts sounding, that that's when I shift the rest stroke. So. And you will really have to practice that slowly to get the off beats, right? So just practice the whole thing slowly. Keep that thin. the rest row. You notice that nasty slap I got there. Sometimes it's helpful, I forgot to do it that time, to put a finger down behind it. It did not hit quite so hard. Same thing on this section right here. that down, it slaps, if you put them both down together, it can minimize it on some guitars at times. And just make sure you don't give it any extra thing. Now there's one other principle I want to talk much more extensively about in a later video, but that's the concept of equal and opposite, which is um, the thumb is called the opposing thumb, right? It's what makes us human, it's what makes us uh, be able to uh, pick up a pencil and pick up a baseball, or turn a page. We go like this all the time. Um, two things about that. First of all, we apply equal pressure. So when we interpret that musically, it means we go to... It's equal, right? That can crop up at various times, sometimes for sort of seemingly musical rhythms like... Sort of, it's sort of if you apply an accent with the thumb, you want to do it with the fingers. So you need to practice loud with the thumb, rest stroke or free stroke. Notice I put those two. 
two fingers down that time, and I didn't get that buzz. So, um, and that equal and opposite thing, again, it particularly comes up when you want to accent a note. So if you're going along, and then you switch to the melody, you want to grab a little more. So. And sometimes you want to you get to an end note, and you want to get that little extra accent. Really avoid uh, doing that. There's nothing drives me more crazy, because I... All my old recordings, all my recordings I ever do, I think I'm not going to do that, and there's always some place. You know, even that, like that. That just doesn't work. We want to get that opposite thing. So make sure you work on that in, in all your pieces. Uh, this is just a good, simple piece to practice it on and get good habits. So enjoy. Uh, the next video I'll post. Uh, will be all six single string studies played together. So I hope you enjoy them all. Take care. Bye.